Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to Grid 3D. I'm Toby and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a quite realistic car paint that I developed on my own 100%. So, I thought of selling this before but um, I just decided to, you know, just give you guys because I'm so excited to show you. Um, anyways, let's get started. You can see I've named the material here car paint. So you can just go ahead, create your material and name it car paint. So we're going to be working with this ceiling right here and just forward slash to isolate that and go into rendered view because I cannot use the material preview because of my graphics driver or my graphics card is not pretty bad. So anyways, first thing we want to do is add in a principled shader, principled BSDF, put that in and you want to duplicate that by shift D. And put that in so I don't want to rush this so let's just go slowly so first off we need um, to create the metallic flakes all those tiny sparks in the car paint so as you can see this is an image I rendered out for that I use this exact copy and car paint I'm about to teach you guys so this is it you can see it works pretty well like very well I was even surprised when I actually rendered this high-res image so you can see it works well so the node setup for this is exactly what I'm about to do here. So, this is for this metallic fl uh, flakes you're seeing here, like this. So, we want them to be pretty metallic. So, just put the metallic to the full. And the roughness, you want to put it the roughness to zero because that would just give us a mirror material. So, let's just give this a like 0 0.250, 0 0.25, 250, the same. So, just leave it at that. So, let's just preview this. Yeah, this is quite nice for our shiny stuff so now this one here is for the real car paint so let's just give it just shift click that and give that a metallic of um i think 0.2 just give it a 0.2 metallic that's cool and roughness of zero just put the roughness to zero like so let's just give it a darker color so we can see what we're working with a little more so we can see our reflections well yeah, this is quite reflective so now I want to mix these two shaders together so what we're going to use is a mix shader uh, where is it yep mix shader and drop that in so this one will be on the bottom and the first one here will be on top of it so now the two are now mixing together evenly around the car so we don't want that to happen we want something to give us this map out of where these flakes should be and where the car paint should be so we're going to use a voronoi texture for that so shift a and go to texture voronoi and just add that in so if we click the voronoi we can see what we have here we want to change this to 4d so we can have variant uh, degree of flakes some of them can be dim and tiny like look as if it's is at the back of the paint so basically it just gives us like a deeper view of the flakes inside the car so it gives us anyways just continue so change this to 4d and change this to f2 and now this euclidean click it and change it to manhattan so we can get some kind of star shaped stuff so if you have the node wrangler add-on enabled so just select this and hit ctrl t and you have your mapping node and your texture coordinate if you don't have the add-on enabled just hit shift a and search for those two um, nodes that i added here so we want to change this one from generated to uv sorry generated to object use object instead of generated so just put that in now everything's evenly spread out so the size we want to use on this voronoi we want to use something quite uh, nice so as you can see the call the black and white are very faint so we need them to like come out we need more contrast on it so we're gonna add a converter then go to color ramp add in the color ramp and just fix that in so this is what we have so we want to clamp those two colors like so I just move this one in yeah I think that's that's okay so before we added the color ramp, these colors were clashing into each other, so it won't give us, it won't give the metallic flake room enough room to, you know, stand out away from the car paint. So with this color ramp now, it has enough room to stand out. So now let's just increase this color, the scale, to like um, 
let's see, 1400. Yeah, I think that's enough scale. So now as you can see, it's really coming out. Just try to use, make this one to make them pop out so a lot. Yeah, that's cool. So this one we have now is uh, basically not really enough. So we're gonna have to duplicate everything here in order to do that. And another reason we are duplicating is because we want to get that um, uh, effect on car paint, some car paints that they usually have that, if you're looking, uh, the parts facing towards you, the normals facing towards you will be like the main color, but the other parts of the car that aren't facing you will be like a darker uh, shade of the car's color. So anyways, let's just do that. And before that, let's just connect this one to the color. To the factor here so we can determine that so now control shift and just click or you can just connect that directly and see what we have so let's give it a darker color so we can see our uh, flakes better yeah this is pretty nice this is okay anyways so let's continue so now next you want to do you want to take these two sorry these two and move them to the back but we're going to use them for something else and select from here everything in the center here and shift D to duplicate that and just bring it here so this one let's just arrange them a bit move it down bring this one right here so this one you're going to leave the settings exactly the way it is you're just going to increase this one's color because this, this one on top will always carry the lighter shade and the one on the bottom will always carry the darker shade. So now we're going to duplicate this mix shader so we can mix these two uh, sets together. So now let's connect this one to the bottom and connect this one to the top. Like so. So let's just leave it here. So now let's connect this one to everything. So you won't see the effects now until I let's increase this a bit until you add a layer weight node. So go to input and go to layer weights and select that. So let's see. So connect the facing to the factor. So that will give us exactly what we need. So as you can see, the effect is already kicking in. So as you can see you are seeing looking at a brighter color here, but all the parts that aren't facing you directly will automatically become a darker shade of gray which is the one we have on the bottom here so now this one's flakes we need to decrease the size for we need to decrease the size so that you know as of now they are both the same size of Voronoi texture so they'll be overlapping on each other so now we need to decrease the size so they can you know maybe spread out and have some larger sizes of those flakes so let's Change this to like 1200. Yeah, that will give us quite exactly what we want. Then the top one will remain at 1400. Give this a dark color. So before we continue, we still need to connect this one connect this to the vector of this so it can all have the same uh, scaling yep this is looking pretty nice it's looking nice so as you can see the reflections on the car paint is very sharp like if you look at this line very straight line to the end so we want to fix that by um, adding some noise to it so this part now is very it's um it's actually optional if you want to but sometimes I like to leave it sharp like like this one I didn't add any of that so I have my sharp reflections here so so as you can see it, lo it looks pretty good but let me just show you guys that sharp but you have to add it to the bottom one and not the top one so shift a and add texture noise Texture, put that in, shift A, go to bump vector and add a bump node. So the bump you can give it a 0 
0.01 so it's not too um sharp then connect this to the height and the scaling should be something like 35 and just connect this to the normal so just watch as the whole stuff changes once this stuff clears out might not be very visible because the strength is low but it's you can actually see some wobbliness going on going on on the top of the car so for these ones you want to increase the clear coat to one and for the second one too increase the clear coat to one so that way we can have a nice creamy surface okay you can actually see the roughness on this part here so anyways I think that's just about it for the car paint. So now let's just deisolate this and check out some cool colors for the car. See? So I think we matched the um, Lamborghini color quite well. So let's just check out some cool colors. So, uh, let me check red. And give it to the bottom one too. A little bit darker, but same red. Yeah pretty cool so let me see how it does with some other HDRIs okay different HDRIs will change the mood of the colors but it will always remain what you give to it it's the car paints actually retains color like the ones unlike the ones I did before it couldn't it actually it couldn't even display white color so that was pretty bad so this one actually displays white displays any color you give to it very well so well, that's just about it, guys. So, I like this color better. So, um, in the next part, we are going to continue with um, some other parts which, which I haven't um, quite figured out right now. So, I'll just lay down the names of the parts I'm doing next when I'm doing it. So. Thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe like the video and share if you have the strength to do that so uh catch you guys in the next one